Hello, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Real Talk with Ellison, and I am Ellison. Listen, if you're tuning in on Facebook, go ahead and hit those like buttons. If you are tuning in on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. And we also want you to go ahead and share this out because on this show, we talk about real issues that affect the community and the church as a whole. So don't be selfish. Share out Real Talk with Ellison. And with that being said, we're about to get this show started. Good evening, everyone. I am Ellison. And on today's show of Real Talk, we are discussing your body is a temple, a holistic lifestyle principle for better health. And joining me on today, I'm so excited to educate us on this topic is none other than Nurse Tammy Holmes. Tammy, welcome, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Ellison. Thank you. You are so very welcome. Tammy, Tammy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I've been a nurse for 34 years. I currently work as a nursing supervisor in a local hospital here in New Jersey. And I also um, have uh, modalities, um, life holistic modalities under my belt, which is um, nutritionist. I'm a herbalist. Um, aromatherapist. I have a business called Sacred Wellness and Beauty, where I make my own skincare and body care products. And I teach women over 40 how to live a holistic lifestyle based on lifestyle holistic principles. Amen. Amen. You said a mouthful, but I'm still okay. stuck on the nurse for 34 years. So thank you for yes. everything that you have done. I know you've been through a lot, especially with COVID, just, you know, well, COVID. How about that? Absolutely. So, yeah. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for that. And then you, so you, I heard you say all of that, but then I also read that um, you're, you're, you have a certificate in um, detoxification. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Detoxification and rejuvenation. So I was um, certified in how to detox the body correctly using the, um, different type of herbs from the earth. Okay. Other than a water, well, other than a water fast and a juice fast. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna talk about that because we need some 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 gut health up in here. So listen, I was when I was doing my research, I seen H for holistic, I seen W for holistic. Can you educate us on the difference? Yes. Well, the H and the W you can use interchangeably in academia, which is in the college community. In nursing, they will probably use the H holistic, but outside of that, you can use the W. I choose to use the W because I tend to look at the person as a whole being W H O L E, which they mm -hmm. do also. But I choose to use the W instead of the H. Mm -hmm. But so they both mean the same thing. So they both mean the same thing. They use interchangeably the W. You said the whole self, whole self, which is the mental, right? Spirit, the the body. spiritual, the body. What about the emotional? Exactly, the spirit, the mind, and the body. Okay, so that's good that you that you said that, and it's all about it's all about the well being. Exactly, the total person. Okay, and so not and not and not just parts of a person because sometimes when we go to our primary um, physicians and we complain about um, whatever it is headache stomach, they may just uh, treat the symptom. But in holistic uh, medicine and holistic nursing, holistic healthcare, we try to look at the whole person. We try to figure out why you are having that symptom instead of treating the symptom. We want to treat the cause of that mm -hmm. symptom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'm glad that you said that because sometimes with medication, you they treat in the symptom and then that medication causes something else. And then you're on medication to treat that. 
and then that causes something else and then you're just before you know it you're on a bunch of different medication so Absolutely. basically not just treating the symptom you treat the problem right exactly yes and then sometimes in the medical world and in our healthcare system here in America we don't have time to treat the problem we mm -hmm. uh, you know in the hospitals uh, the nurses the doctors sometimes they don't have they they they'll make referrals but they don't really have time to get down to the core of what's causing your your ulcers in your stomach it could it could be because you're in an abusive environment that's causing mm. your ulcers but instead of dealing with that um the problem we're just going to take care of your symptom get you well send you on your way but mind you when you go back to your environment the problem is still there the problem is still there, there. so it's all about fixing, getting mentally healthy so that you can remove yourself from the environment. Exactly. That the problem. Exactly. That's good. That's good. I was looking, I, um, so I stalked you and I seen a comment or a post that you had posted and it, it said that health is adding a level of intention to every area of your life. Right. And I thought that was such an awesome, awesome post. But explain that from your perspective. What caused you to post that? Well, it means um, to be deliberate. It means to be purposeful. And it means to have an intention of everything you do to to bring yourself closer to better health. So meaning that you want to have um, you want to choose um healthy habits that agree and or align with your values and your goals so if you want to get healthy there are certain things that you are going to incorporate into your life or into your lifestyle so it's being intentional it's being purposeful and it's being deliberate in how you take care of yourself so you you said that your health your health helps you with your lifestyle period right and to be intentional and in doing and taking care of your health. Okay, so hashtag hashtag intentional, guys. Hashtag <laughs> intentional because I think that's so important for us to to be intentional because yes. um, so many times I hear, well, I can't afford to eat healthy or healthy food costs so much more than you know the fast food, the McDonald's, or whatever the case may be. But if I'm concerned not about just my physical health, but my whole health, how important is eating healthy? Exactly. And then you have to think of it this way. I mean, fast food, that's an easy, uh, an easy way for us to eat quickly. But then you have to think of it. Health care is more in the long run. So if you get mm. sick, if you come down with a disease, if you come down with something that's, um, you know, hard, to, hard to cure, that's more, that's more money in the long run. So it's better to take care of yourself now to do the things that, um, that you know, that's right to do on a daily basis, as opposed to taking the short, um, the short way or the short end of the stick just for convenience. And that's, yeah. that's what we do a lot. We do a lot just for convenience because it's convenient, but in the long run it's jeopardizing, jeopardizing our health. Wow. So what I'm hearing you to say, because it's not five dollars no more, but that nine 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 or twelve ninety nine McDonald's or Hardy's meal, it might be twelve ninety nine right now, but you keep twelve ninety nine in, it's gonna lead to some kind of health problems. Exactly. Mm. And then that so, that 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 disrupts your whole life and it disrupts yeah. your family. So in the long run, it's more costly. In the long run, it's, it's more, more costly. costly. So in the long run, it's more costly. Okay. So we might as well be intentional right now. Right now. And eating healthy so that we right can now. not pay for it with our whole self later. Exactly. So speaking of the whole self, how does your spiritual health and holistic coincide? Well, to me, well, the Bible, let me just go to, to Romans real quick. And Romans 12, it tells us, it says, therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which mm -hmm. is your spiritual service of worship. So really, 
taking care of our bodies is the least that we can do for what God has done for us. Mm. So that's the least, it's the least. So the body is a temple. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So that means your temple is supposed to be clean. It's supposed to stay clean. We, we're supposed to want it to be clean. So if, right. if I always say this, if you were the Holy Spirit, would you want to live in your body? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Would you want to hey, live in your body? Well, listen, listen, viewers, viewers. She, yes. matter of fact, Tammy, read Romans 12 one more time. Romans 12, what? Read that one more time. Romans 12. <laughs> It says, therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service of worship. And it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So this mm -hmm. whole this whole topic that we're talking about is mm -hmm. a renewing of your mind. Do not be conformed mm -hmm. to this world. So mm -hmm. that means also, it means also it has to do with your health too. So say, you know, how McDonald's now they have a super size, super size fry. So that yeah. means that you don't go, you don't conform just because McDonald's now have super size. You don't go get the super size. So you don't conform to the American standard diet by eating what they eat. Right. And that all falls back to being intentional. That's mm -hmm. being intentional. That's being yeah. deliberate. That's being purposeful. Yeah. I, I I need to go back to that comment though. You said, you said, if you were the Holy Spirit, would you want to live, in your, live in your body? Ooh, child. A body oh. that's stressed, a body <laughs> that's stressed, a body that's broken, a body that's um not eliminating correctly. So mm. a body that's constipated, Ooh. a body that had dehydrated. So if you were the, and, that, and as wonderful as the Holy Spirit Man, is, right there. would you want to live in your body? So we have yeah. to make it clean. We have to make it conducive for the Holy Spirit to dwell within. Right. I, that, is, that is so powerful. And you know what? I honestly can say that I never looked at it like that. If I was the Holy Spirit, would I want to look what I want to live in my body because so many people use that scripture so that we don't damage or do anything to our outer body, right? They're talking mm -hmm. about intrinsically, but you're talking about internal, what's, mm -hmm. what's on the inside of us, right? Intrinsic. Mm -hmm. So if we're not taking care of what's on the inside of us and that's where the Holy Spirit lives. Well, it's a mess all up in there. We asking the Holy Spirit to get past all this mess. Exactly. Before it can get to anything else. Tammy, that was powerful. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That was really, really good. And thank you for that. So this real talk with Ellison and you said something about some constipation. So let me tell you. <laughs> so I was diagnosed with IBS, right? Several, 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 several years ago. And, you know, of course they give you all kind of medication to, um, to combat it. They give you all kind of stuff to drink, eat, pill to take, all kind mm -hmm. of stuff they do, right? So it's not uncommon for me to not defecate for three to four days. Ooh. I'm listening. Yeah, I don't even know if yes. I want to go any further because I see your face. Yes. <laughs> well, for your audience to know, IBS is called irritable bowel syndrome. And that's just a, um, a ailment of, of the stomach of the gut where um, that your bowels become irritable over, it, it could be irritable over stress. Um, anything could trigger it. Anything mm -hmm. could trigger it. And then what happens is that you may have, sometimes you may have diarrhea because of the nervousness, or you may have bouts of, like uh, Sister Ellison um, mentioned, um, constipation. And it, it, just put it this way, it's something that people um, stress if they're living with it. Because mm -hmm. you never know what turn it's going to take. You never know if you're going to have, um, you know, get nervous because your your stomach and your intestines, it, it reacts to our emotions. You know how we get yeah. nervous? Yes. So you never know. You never know what turn irritable bowel syndrome right. is going to take. 
Right. So let me, you said something about stress, which I think is really, really important because, you know, while I was on vacation, I didn't have not one problem, not one problem. It, I was just letting loose and I was excited about it. I was like, <laughs> man, right. So to hear you say, you know, it could be stress. How does stress play a part in our gut health? Stress plays a major part, not only in our gut health, but in our body um, in general. Stress prevents our organs from functioning at its optimal best. So mm. it keeps, stress keeps you like um, in the fight or flight mode. And I'm, if you have ever heard of it before, you know how when something is stressful to you, your body kind of gets ready to fight. So, yes. so your body is tensed and when your body is tense and when your body is under a lot of stress, your organs can't function properly. Your stomach, you're not absorbing your nutrients and that's where it's your gut and your small intestines is where your nutrients are absorbed. So you're not getting healthy from the foods that you're eating, even if you are eating healthy foods. So stress plays a major, major, major part in our in our lives and that's why it's important that if we are leading a stressful life that we need to de-stress every single day to the best mm. of our ability and i know there are some people that are living in situations right now where it's very hard for them to they may be going through an illness they may be going through a marital problem they may be going through a job situation and sometimes it's hard to de-stress but we have to do it to the best of our ability so we can get our heart working correctly, our, our lungs, our stomach, our liver, all of the organs of the body. Right. That's that's awesome. So I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this word right, but what is mut? What gut? I said mut. What is gut? What is it? Micro, microbiota? My, microbiota. And all it is is microorganisms that's in your gut. And we have, and it's called gut flora also. And it's good bacteria and it's bad bacteria. And we we want to have that good flora, just like I think it's a um a um yogurt. What is it called? Active active activia. Activia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's supposed to have good flora in it. So, and, and, and it's, this, it's the foods we eat that destroys the good flora in mm. our gut. It's the foods we eat, and it's also the stress, because as you stress, you get nervous, your body produces hydrochloric acid, so you get acid reflux, you get esophageal reflux. So it all, all of that plays a part in gut health. Wow. So to, to have, to maintain gut health, the best thing to do is eat foods that that is for the gut, which is a plant-based diet, green leafy vegetables, our fruits and our vegetables. Because mm -hmm. the, fast, the fast foods are the standard American diet takes away from takes away from the good, healthy bacteria that we need to thrive. Right. So, you know, I was thinking about um, when when Timothy was having a, a problem in, um, in the scripture with his stomach <laughs> and Paul was to, told him to go ahead and drink some of that wine to uh -huh. you know, help with your stomach. Yes, and maybe this is what was wrong with Timothy. So, yeah. So, so I was thinking about that and I'm like, man, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. It's in the scriptures. Yes, it is. Yes, it's it is. in the scriptures. Right. And you also, um, through your business, Sacred Wellness and Beauty, don't you coach how to have um, healthy eating habits? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I would say to um, anybody that's listening today, take one day at a time. I mean, don't uh, we want to be successful at what we do? We want to make lifestyle changes. We don't want to just do any fad type of, of, of diets or um, fad programs. You want to do it safely. So I just say, just take one day at a time. If it's something that you know that's not good for your body. And the thing is, most of us know what's not good for our bodies. 
Most oh, of yeah. us know if we have hypertension, high blood pressure, we, we don't need to be eating fried foods. Most of us know if we're diabetics that we shouldn't be having haagen and sugar and cookies. Most of <laughs> us know all these things, but we do it anyway. Right. We do it anyway. And, and it, could, it, could be, it could be tough. It could be hard. But in order to be healthy, in order to make it a lifestyle change, start small. Start yes. with something every single day. If you don't drink water, start drinking water. Yeah. If you drink That's soda, eliminate the soda. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So because that goes back to that intentional piece. Listen, and if, you, exactly. if you're tuning in, you're watching Real Talk with Ellison, and we're here with Nurse Tammy Holmes, um, and she's the owner of Sacred and Wellness Beauty, and she has been teaching us about our wholeness holistically as far as our gut health and our mental health and our spiritual health. And and listen, I'm going to say this a couple of times throughout the show. She said, if you was the Holy Spirit, Holy <laughs> Ghost, whatever you want to call them, do, would you want to live in your yeah. body? And that yeah. was so powerful. So that's something for all of us to take home and think mm -hmm. about. If, if you were the Holy Spirit, would you want to live in your body as it is right now? Mm. <laughs> so I thought that was so powerful. So you, if I, for you was just explaining about different um, disorders or different diseases and we shouldn't eat this way and we shouldn't do that and we, mm -hmm. and we know better, right? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, Tabitha said, um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm with you, Tabitha. Uh, I, I'll be back on that question. Mm -hmm. So how, now let me ask you this. What if I'm, I'm working out, mm -hmm. right? I'm eating right. And, and I still have gut issues and I still have other issues. What, what, what could possibly be the problem? Cause I, I'm doing it right. It can be um, mental. It can be emotional. Mm -hmm. If we're, if we're not settled um, in our lives, if we're not settled um, in our spirituality, no matter how much you work out, no matter how much you eat right, is it's not going it, it needs to be a balance so mm -hmm. if you're if you're eating right and you say you're eating right some people say they're eating right but they're still eating the standard american diet and try to lose weight weight loss is 80 percent diet and 20 percent exercise so it's mm -hmm. all what you put in your what you put in your mouth so changing your diet is crucial uh, working out is is also good and we all should work out. We all should have some type of a physical activity in our lives. But if, if it's not working, then we have to go back to, um, we have to go back to the beginning, maybe do a food journal to see what you're eating, what mm. you're putting in. And also again, your lifestyle. If you yeah. have a busy, if you have a busy lifestyle, I, I know a lot of Christians, a lot of, um, you know, the, a, a lot of church people, we're here and there and everywhere. Yes. And, and we don't take the time to take care of ourselves. As much as we sing about it, as much as we shout about it, as much Ooh. as we pray about it, we where's the results? She kicking it's, us in the teeth, y'all. She is kicking us in the teeth. She yeah. said, as much as we sing about it, we talk about it, we read about it, we're not doing about it. We're not doing about it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, to me, I think we should be one of the healthiest people on the face of the earth. But there's more yeah. Christians that are sick in the hospital and that is, that's on the prayer list every single Ooh. Sunday. And it shouldn't be. Yeah. It shouldn't yes. be. You are the, so right. <laughs> the world, the I'm world, so should, the world should be coming to us saying how can I get as healthy as you? How can right. I be as healthy as you are? But instead, we're running to the world trying to get healthy. When we have all the answers, wow. we have the ultimate healer, Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. He said we could do and be anything if we ask. That's right. So it's not him. It's, it's not him. So so what I'm hearing you say, and I'm, I'm, I'm still cracking up off the comment that Eric had said, he said, it doesn't matter how much you, you work out or run. You can't outrun a bad diet. Bad diet, absolutely. I thought that was funny. So in the, with that being said, you know, you said we sing about it, we talk about it, but we're not doing about it. 
So also I heard you say, okay, so if I'm, if I'm, if I'm taking care of my physical, but I'm not taking care of my spiritual, if I'm not taking care of my emotional, if I'm not taking care of my mental, how can I be whole? Yeah. It's a disconnect somewhere. It's a disconnect, mm -hmm. yeah. it, especially, um, he said that we can, um, in, in third John two, it says, brethren, I worship all, all things that you may prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. Well, mm -hmm. our soul, we, we feel our soul prospers all the time in the word of God. But mm -hmm. where does our, our physical, our, our, our physical health, where does that, where does that line up? Right. Our, our spiritual is up here and our physical, can't see, our physical is way yeah. down here. Wow. Wow. You know, you say this a lot, the standard American diet. Explain that, the standard American diet. Okay, the standard American diet is basically what um, Americans eat. Fast foods, processed foods, um, takeout foods, already prepared foods, um, foods that are devoid of vitamins, nutrients, minerals. Our, our body is made up of cells. That we're, we're cells first. We're, we're microorganisms first. So we have cells. Then after cells, cells become tissues. Tissues mm -hmm. become organs. Organs become systems, which is the cardiovascular system, the nervous system, the endocrine system, the respiratory system. All those systems make up the human body. So when you look at it in the scheme of things, we are phosphorus, new nitrogen, carbon, sulfur. So all those things come from what? Plant foods. Plant foods. So that's where the nutrients are. It's in the soil. Yeah. So the yeah. standard American diet is hamburgers, hot dogs, pizza, fried chicken, pasta, foods that have no nutrients at all. Foods no nutrients. No nutrients. All out of it. Exactly. Because exactly. greens is good, but we cook it all out, then we throw in the ham hops. <laughs> exactly. We can't cook greens without, like you said, without the ham hops, without the pork. And we, so we have to learn how to eat better so we can feed ourselves. So our cells, your cells reproduce at a rate, a certain rate, your cells reproduce. When they reproduce, you want them to reproduce healthy. You don't mm -hmm. want to make um, unhealthy cells. And that's what happens when you don't eat right. When it reproduces, mm -hmm. it reproduces unhealthy cells. Right. Wow. So let me ask you this because there's a lot of there's a lot of detox stuff out there. You know, take this detox for 30 days or take this detox for for uh, I don't know three days or whatever. How long does it take to totally detox your body? It takes about one year. Whoa. Consistent, consistent, consistently. Whoa. Now you may you may detox it in several ways. But while you're detoxing, you're not eating a lot of solid foods. So mm -hmm. it takes about a year to clean out your gut because what? we all have about 15 pounds of waste just sitting in our stomach. Because oh, if you don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just skip past that comment right there. So. <laughs> So we really full of it because you said no. We are really full pounds? of it. Yeah, we're, we're really full of it. Waste? If you're not eliminating every time you eat, then where's it going? That's why we're sick. That's why you have headaches. That's why your skin break out. That's why you're irritable. That's why you're mean because you have waste sitting in your stomach and you're putting food on top of food on top of food. It's not being digested. So you have about 15 pounds of waste in your stomach that has to be eliminated. That doesn't I happen. That doesn't really happen overnight. So you could do the Daniel fast. I don't, I don't um, fault people for doing um, uh, the fast, Daniel fast. But the thing is that I see that's happening. You'll do the Daniel fast in the beginning of the year. But right after January is over, you go right back to your same habits. Listen, right and after, as soon as the church say amen, they got the chicken waiting we, at home. Exactly, exactly. Woo, and I'm we, our body, our body is meant to heal itself. 
but it can't mm. heal itself when it's full of stuff. Fifteen. Fifteen pounds. You Viewers. might have. You you might that? have. <laughs> She said we have at least 15 pounds of stuff in us of that we're not getting of waste. 15 pounds of waste. And and we wonder why we cranky and irritable and got stomach ache, but yet we still eating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doesn't that make you sluggish and stuff too? It makes you sluggish. Well, uh, uh, think of it this way. When have you ever eaten a salad with cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes, and just say, oh, now I'm ready for a nap. Salad doesn't make you sluggish. Roses. The other foods make you sluggish. Roses. The other food will make you a steak and potatoes. And after we eat a heavy meal, now we want to go to sleep. We call it the itis. You don't get the itis when you um, eat fruits and vegetables. Right. I never... I've never seen anybody get the itis. <laughs> that <laughs> you are so right. I'm sitting there listening. I'm like, yeah. I, I, after a salad, I have never been like, "Woo, child." All exactly. Right, I, I have not. I have not done that. But yeah, you're right. After exactly. Some, you know, ribs and all that other good stuff is like, ooh, I can just lay down now. You exactly. Know? And then that's not even good either. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it takes uh, it takes a year of consistency, you were saying, to mm -hmm. totally detox your body. Yes. Especially if we got 15 pounds of waste in us. Yes. And and, and that goes right back to the question you asked. If you were the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. <laughs> would you want to live in you? Man, viewers, listen, we got the Holy Spirit waddling around in some waste. Oh my God, I'm so convicted. I am so convicted. Tammy, I yeah. appreciate you so much. You have really enlightened me from the perspective of, oh my goodness, I have got to get it together. You know, so wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this. I appreciate you. If nobody else says it, I appreciate you. <laughs> We're all we're all on a journey. We're all on this journey together. But the thing is, we it's about time that we get it right. Yeah, we need to get it right. It's time to get it right. And it's time you know, to get it right. With people like you, we can't stay. You know, because people sometimes they know because they they lack the ignorance. They don't, they're ignorant to it. They don't know. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. But with people like you, shows like Real Talk, all other kind of shows that are trying to get this information out there, you know, granted, it's not Ratchet TV. You could get it. We would have a million viewers on here. We was exactly. talking about ratchetness. But here we're trying to get you. We're trying to get your temple right so the Holy, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit can, you know, and dwell, and, dwell and, and get your mm -hmm. mental health, your spiritual health, your wholeness together. So, you know, with that being said, are there some... Are there some side effects to some natural ingredients? Because I was reading about, you know, different things to um, help with high with high cholesterol. And I think one of the things they said was red yeast rice or something like that, um, mm -hmm. which is good for cholesterol. But then it can increase your liver enzymes. So are there side effects to some natural things, too? Well, there's always going to be a certain um, amount. It could be of side effects from anything, whether it's mm -hmm. herbal medicine or whether it's supplements or whether it's prescriptive medicine medications from your doctor. It's always room for somebody to have some type of allergic reaction. That's why uh, we emphasize that if you are taking herbal medicine to, to let your primary physician know, because there are some medications that um, you may take that may contradict Mm -hmm. um, when you take herbal medicine mm -hmm. and especially if you're, if you're a cancer patient, you definitely want to run that by your, um, physician, what you're taking, because it may have some contraindications, but normally if you're not on a lot of um, prescription medications and you decide to take herbal medicine, there's really very, very minimal, um, side effects that I've seen. Okay. Okay, that's that's good because you know I mean, going to back to the scriptures, you know that's that's what they ate. A lot of is sort of sort of like a Mediterranean 
diet, so to diet. speak, a lot of mm-hmm. beans, a lot of, you know, green leafy things, a lot of, mm-hmm. a lot of that, you know, and again, it goes back to the American standard diet. And I feel like with in America, it's like go big or go home, you know, supersize exactly. this and extra right. large that, right? But, you know, portion control is a big thing. And then what are you portioning? So you can either eat that $12.99, you know, triple deca mushroom, mm-hmm. onion, gravy dripping burger now (laughs) and pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars later, including your health and your mental, Mm -hmm. you know, your mental health as well. So there's a, there's a lot of different, you know, stores out there. There's a lot of different, um, you got GNC, the vitamin store, you have a lot of different things out there. And I thought that it was so powerful when I read that you have actually stayed You know, you went to a Peru, you've been to different parts of the country Mm -hmm. looking and studying herbs. I'm like, this Mm -hmm. my girl right here. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Right. You've been to Morocco for spices. I Mm -hmm. mean, you've you've done all of that. So how do we know what's real and what's imitation? Well, the thing is that um, studying and I and I study to show myself approved um, mm-hmm. because there are a lot of people that are recommending um, different herbal medicines to people that, that have no knowledge of it. And mm-hmm. by me being a nurse, I felt compelled to um, to to learn to learn from reputable uh, master herbalists. Um, when I did go to Peru, I lived in the Amazon jungle for um, five days. And we hiked in the Amazon jungle just looking for different mm. herbs. Their herbs are a little bit different from ours because of the location of the Amazon and and um, and the, the way the sun is there because it's so um, it's so vast with um, greenery that a lot of times the trees block the sun. So a lot of herbs that we get over here they don't grow over in the Amazon. Wow. But um, it was interesting to be among the indigenous people and to see the foods that they ate and how healthy that they were. And also um, during COVID, the people that lived in the jungle were not hospitalized with COVID. They just took their natural remedies and they stayed right, right in their village. They didn't have to be shipped or, or, or motorboat to the city to get care for COVID. Right. Wow. Wow. So we had, we had um, a comment from Nikita. She says, what do you think about the colonic therapy to clean, oh. your, to cleanse your colon? I think colonics are good. I think colonics. they are. I think that's a start in um, cleaning your colon. And definitely if you go to a experience and a knowledgeable um, colon therapy, uh, colon therapist, um, you should get re- you should get good results from um, a col- colonic. I think they're so, very good. So they have so man, they have colon colon therapists. Yes, and what it is is that you go to a um go to a, a an office and you meet with a colon therapist and it's like an enema, but it's a more advanced type of enema where about, I think it's maybe 25 to 30 gallons of water is entered into your colon and it just loosens up the waste, the waste in your, um, in your colon and it flushes it out. So it, it helps you to get rid of that 15 pounds of waste. Yes. You've been. Yes. Because you, you, you have to remember if you have years of waste in your stomach, some people have steak in their stomach that they ate in 1985. <laughs> Wait, so, <laughs> talk about age to perfection. So you said you got steak in your stomach. To, oh, yeah. how? Okay, so you have so steak, one, rib. Nikita, thank you for that comment. And girl, I'm gonna contact you because I need to know where to go get one. And then tell me how often do you recommend getting a colonic? Oh my goodness. Well, wow. well when, when you meet with the um, colon therapist, she'll do a history. She'll do a health history and, and an assessment. And she will determine how many cycles, it's called cycles. She'll determine how many cycles um, that you may need. Cause she'll ask you different questions pertaining to your, um, your, your elimination um, practices, your elimination habits, and, and things like that. So, Tammy. 
Well, the thing is, Tammy, anyway, wait, I am still stuck. Are you look? Are you exaggerating when you no, say that I'm not. Who have stayed from 1985? No, I'm not exaggerating because when like when we sit food out on our counters, right? What happens in the morning is hard, right? So that's what happens in your stomach when you don't eliminate those foods, those sticky, sugary foods. It sticks to your colon and it's going to harden up. So that's why um, it's important that you take things that's going to try to break it up because you have to break it up. And that's what the water does in a colonic therapy. therapy. Guys, y'all been watching Real Talk with Ellison and Tammy has Tammy has really shined a light on all of this, um, the holistic self, the, your whole self. And listen, I am laughing, but it's not a joke. I am sitting here thinking about, oh my gosh, something sitting in you from 1985 Tammy goes back to the question. If you was the Holy Spirit, would you want to be living in you? Our body is the temple. And I'm sitting here in tears because I cannot fathom the thought of state just still sitting there, especially I feel like if you defecate every day, why isn't it? Why isn't it out? But that's not the foods. That's not the foods that's been there. Like if you go daily, is not something that's been there for a long time. So when you go and have a um, colonoscopy, you know how you have to, I don't know if anybody ever had a colonoscopy, yes. but if you're yes. over 40, or 40 or 50, you should have a colonoscopy. Well, they give you a drink called Go Lightly and it's supposed mm -hmm. to clean, but that doesn't clean your colon, your large intestines. That just cleans the, the, the rectal area where they're going to scope you. So... Mm -hmm. So that's not, that's not getting that's not getting the the um the stool that have been sitting in your 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 colon for years because it takes a while or it takes herbs to break that up because sometimes it could be as hard as cement. Wow, that's why some people wonder why do you think people feel fatigued all the time? They feel tired all the time. They feel sluggish all the time. Oh because they're not, they're, they're eating all this food every single day and they're not eliminating properly. Mm, man. Okay. So I am still so shocked. And again, I shared, you know, I was very vulnerable and shared about me having irritable bowel syndrome. And sometimes it takes me three days, sometimes four days, five days, which I know is not good. But then you're sitting up here saying that steak since 1985 i probably got the steak that i was eating when i was when i was a teenager you know up in me because i don't i don't defecate often like that and i'm sitting here mm -hmm. like i just want to to totally be whole and i want to be all that i know i can be you know spiritually so i'm just like that is that is so much and and eric is not helping he said the gremlins came out in 1985 and that you know his, his sister was was two in 1985 and just to think we have stuff in us and you said like cement um i know muriel she said she never heard of colon therapy right and mm -hmm. how do you find the, how do you find a therapist well you could look in your area um you're in virginia right Virginia, Virginia, but um, she's in North Carolina. Yeah, North oh, Carolina. Okay. Just, just look in, area. yeah, just look on online or Google colon therapist in the area. And when you do, just find out how, how many years or the experience of the person that's doing it. Yeah. But you can start there. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is real talk with Ellison, right? <laughs> This is real. This is real. Listen, this is real. I, I am stuck on. I got two things I'm stuck on. 1985 and do you want the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit to live to dwell with the way him. your body currently is? Wow. So so listen, right? Most of us know what um, nutritionists are, and we can assume that herbalist deals with with herbs. But what's the what's a herbalist? Let, a herbalist. Okay, herbalist is a person that practices herbalism. 
herbalism is a person that studies plants, studies everything about the plants and study botanicals. So that means for, for healing. So it could be the bark of a plant. It could be the leaves, the seeds, the flowers, um, the stems. So everything that's pertaining to that plant, we study it and we see which, which herb is good for what ailment, what disease. Because there is a plant for everything. There is a plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Thank you for lightening that. So. I promise I'm getting over this 1985. I'm, I'm just so sorry, y'all. I know y'all with me too. Don't act like y'all knew that y'all had staking y'all from 1985. So, <laughs> so Tammy, listen, mm -hmm. I just, I just want to say, right. What, how would someone begin their journey as a holistic lifestyle? Because we've been eating this American, like you said, the American standard way mm -hmm. this whole Time. So how do we make the transition into um, being having this holistic lifestyle? And is there a thing of um, having a holistic lifestyle and eating chicken? Because I love me some air fried chicken. Tammy, don't tell me I can't eat the air fried chicken. You can. Okay. Well, a holistic <laughs> lifestyle is just healthy habits. Healthy habits, and I will say, I will say, there are some people that should not do air fry, should not do meats at all. And those are the people that's dealing with really, really bad chronic diseases to the point where they're very sickly. So if you want to heal your body of any type of disease, then those foods you should abstain from at any cost at least for a little while, if you want to heal your body, because food is medicine. The right food is medicine, mm -hmm. but, but you can take it on a daily, just do it daily. Just incorporate healthy habits into your lifestyle. Like I said before, say if you have a meatless night at your home one night, don't serve meat at all. Just serve a, um, a vegetable, uh, vegetable diet or plant-based. Yeah. If you're used to eating eggs, grits, and all those things that we like in the morning time, have a smoothie, transfer to a smoothie. Um, if you're always eating fried chicken, go to fish. So it's the little things consistently that's going to um, allow you to see the change. Because once you keep doing it consistently, I used to be a macaroni and cheese person. I loved, loved macaroni Ooh, and cheese. They got the seafood right now, mac and cheese down, Tammy. <laughs> what, I'm sorry, what did you say? They got the seafood mac and cheese now. <laughs> See, oh, now I can't eat macaroni and cheese. It's too thick for me. Mm -hmm. I, I can't even, because, you, okay, with macaroni and cheese, you have the pasta, you have the butter, you have the whole milk. Now, the people, put nine, now people put nine different cheeses, the cheddar, the mild cheddar, the mozzarella, yeah. you know, Double. years ago it used to be one cheese. Now they put 10 yep. and then now they put the seafood. Could you imagine eating all that going into your stomach? Mm -hmm. And I know it tastes good, Not but consistent. right. But once you start eating right, I'm telling you, you're, it, it's amazing how it happens. Once you start on the path, to eating correctly, and then you go back to those foods, you're not going to want them right. because you're going to feel so good not wow. having them in your system. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. And that's why when people don't eat meat and then they go back to eat, you know, um, some kind of meat, then that's why they start getting sick again because they haven't had exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what yeah. physical or mental symptoms can be relieved by practicing a holistic lifestyle? Stress, for one. You could um, reduce the stress in your life. Um, you could reduce the aches and the pains that you have in your life. Um, arthritis, because some of the foods that we eat contribute to our arthritis and our inflammation. And as we get older, we want to keep moving right? Mm -hmm. We want to keep That's moving. Right. So that means we have to stop eating foods that cause inflammation, 
Meat causes inflammation. Meat is acidic. Mm -hmm. Eggs is acidic. So you want to eliminate those foods by adopting a holistic lifestyle. It allows you to eliminate a lot of those foods that cause um, inflammation and, and causes our immune system to break down. Right. You know, when so COVID came. Blueberries good for um, inf inflammation? Or no? All, all berries are good. Blueberry, okay. raspberries, strawberries, all, all berries are high in antioxidants. So berries are wonderful. Yeah. To eat. So guys, listen, you've been watching Real Talk with, with um, Ellison. I almost said real. I couldn't even remember my name. I'm still stuck on some of the stuff you said. Real Talk with Ellison. And we've been sitting here with Nurse Tammy. And she has been, listen, telling us some good things about uh, a holistic lifestyle. She said it is, a, it is a lifestyle. It's not something that you just fly by the seat of your pants. And she told us about, yeah. she, ela she elaborated a little bit more on, um, finding a colon therapist and, you know, relieving stress, making sure we are whole mentally, physically, mm -hmm. you know, spiritually, you have to be whole. She said, if, if the Holy spirit right now, if you were the Holy spirit, would you want to live in your body right now? And I'm stuck on that. And the other thing she said was that some of us got steak in us from 1985. I'm still stuck on that. So, you know, she said that you don't have to go totally holistic, but have a few nights that are meatless and, you know, mm -hmm. add more greens and berries and different mm -hmm. things like that. And she was, oh man, Tammy, you have dropped the science. So I got to ask you this, right? So help a sister out with this menopause hot flashes, Tammy. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Now I'm not an expert on menopause, but I am in that age um, bracket where um, I am menopause. I'm in the menopausal. Um, one of the things that you could do is look at your diet. Diet is everything. So you want to look at your diet. You want to eliminate simple sugars. So you want to eliminate breads, cookies, cakes. Um, ice cream, anything with simple sugars, you want to try to reduce that or eliminate it. You, and again, it all goes back wait, to, wait, 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 I know I, I don't need none of that, but then, but then you had to go and say about the ice cream. Yeah. It all goes back to, I mean, there's other factors too, but everything goes back to what you put in your mouth, everything. Right. So also you can try, um, there's two herbs that um, I researched. One was the black cohosh. And yeah. I know some people say that it causes lim liver damage, but you're not going to take it up to the point where, because some herbs you only use for a certain amount of time. Some herbs you can use continuously and you can use every day. Black cohosh is one of the ones that you would not use continuously forever you would just so use it until you you're about that, Tammy, because i i used to take the pill and then i stopped because of course oh your liver this your liver that and then i found the liquid and i take it like every other day but then i started taking it like once or twice a week can i take it more than that for a you couple, can... of, couple of weeks at a time and then stop and then tell me how to do that i need to get you, over this hot flashes you you could probably take it for maybe two months at a time and then, but if you're concerned about your liver, just go to your doctor and see if he could just do liver enzymes, a liver enzyme test to see the status of your liver. I mean, we hear these things all the time, but there is no, like, if you take black cohosh for two months, I doubt if that's going to cause liver damage, but over a long time, it may. Right. The, the right. scientific and the research shows that after taking it for long periods of time unsupervised then it may cause liver damage didn't say it no, will yes. but it may yeah and I, like i said i'll take it maybe about twice a week or something like that and it's been doing great just like that you know so i mean i'm i'm good with taking it the way out that way that i have been taking it and i can't remember something else somebody told me to take but i'm not taking that so we had a question from um jaquita and she said 
how can you go without eating meat and not become malnourished or should I say maintain a decent weight size? Okay, I wanted to go back to Genesis. Um, I think it's Genesis 123, if mm -hmm. I could find it real quick. Um, where it says that he has given us the herbs. Um, he has given us herbs and fruit and vegetables for our diet. And that would be meat for our meat for us, which means that is our nutrition. So you don't need meat to maintain a healthy, healthy uh, body weight. Mm -hmm. If you go by your plant-based diet, you have enough protein in some of your vegetables. You have enough protein in your beans. So you don't need meat for, I rarely eat meat at all. Very rarely. I don't even cook meat. So you really don't need meat to maintain a healthy, um, healthy weight. Okay. So you just need you just need to eat enough food, but you need to eat enough of the right foods. Right. What you were saying, like the beans and the grease, um, the greasy, the green leafy foods and different different things like that. What about mm -hmm. these plant based burgers and plant based chicken? I'm always skeptical about that stuff. But what about that kind of stuff? I mean, I don't eat them, but I guess that's a alternative, a better alternative if you are a meat eater, like an everyday meat eater. So to me, anything, any small change is better than no change. Mm -hmm. So if you're used to eating beef, pork, ribs, steaks, so going to one of those impossible burgers, okay, just to kind of wean you off, I could see that but for a long period of time because they're also filled with fillers. Because yes. I, I say to myself, well, if it's not meat, then what is it? So that's why I choose not to eat those. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I hear you. And yeah, Erica says it's expensive to eat healthy or not as expensive as the long run, the medical bills. So, or your health, you know, what it's going to cause to your health. Right. So Tammy, listen, we, we listen, we, I don't care. Nobody else appreciates you. I do. <laughs> I learned some stuff on today and I thank you so, so much for giving us all your insight and listen, either we gonna have you back here or we definitely, definitely, definitely want you to come and speak to, you know, our church members because our, yeah. our, um, our mission is position yourself to prosper this year. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't look like financial. It looks like what is it mentally, you know, emotionally right. and healthy. So we would love to get you back to talk to, you know, our Living Water Worship Center, our, our members at our church. So okay. with that being said, can you please give uh, our viewers a nugget? Yes. And I'd like to say, Ellison, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. But I would just want to leave the audience with this. Oh, wait, wait, Tammy, wait, Tammy. Muriel said, I done found a colon therapist in her town and she going to call tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. That goes action. right back to what you said, Tammy, about be intentional. Yes. And action, action. She's yes. taking action and she's being proactive. But I want to leave with your audience anything any a baby step is better than no steps so take baby steps towards um better health put yourself first we are all responsible for our own health care no one else is, is responsible for you but you eat healthy drink your water exercise move around there's something that you could do every single day even if it's just touching your toes 10 times remain active and put God first, put God in everything that you do. Ask him to guide you and help you. And he will do just that. Yes, ma'am. Listen, Tammy, hold on. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to say, get ready, say goodbye to the audience. So hold on. Okay. Okay. So listen, guys, thank, thank you. you so much again, Tammy, for being on the show. Nurse Tammy, she, listen, she, she real, she done stayed in the forest. She was in Peru. She done studied. So I just so appreciate all of the knowledge that she was dropping here on tonight. So I hope you guys all 
were able to gain some kind of understanding about the holistic. If you want to reach her right now, she's her website is under construction. However, she does have a Instagram. It's sacred underscore wellness underscore and underscore beauty. And she's got a wonderful, wonderful drink recipe on there right now because I already stalked her Instagram. So listen, guys, look at the big picture. Take time to evaluate your overall health. What's your crutch, right? You heard Tammy say tonight, some things that we can't keep eating, we can't ice cream, different things like that. So what, what crutches are you relying on to get through the day? Is it the unhealthy food? Is it the unhealthy snacking, right? What part of your whole life are you ignoring that truly need the attention to enable you to have good health? What are we ignoring? Is it the stress? Is it we're not exercising? Is it the past? What are we ignoring that's that's not allowing us to be whole? And lastly, I like what she said. We are responsible for our own health. So take responsibility, take action. Muriel said, I already found the colon therapist and I'm calling tomorrow, right? So be intentional about your spiritual, your mental, your emotional, and your physical self. Okay. And we want to thank you again for tuning in live with Real Talk with Ellison. And listen, ne not next week, the week after next, we will def we will have something on. We talk a lot about mental health, but now we're going to say, okay, how can I better take care of my mental health, right? So tune in in two weeks for a Real Talk with Ellison. And thank you guys and God bless.